G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, we want to have a bit of a chat with this fella. This guy here is an Australian magpie. So stick around, guys. We're talking about one of the most iconic birds we've got. It's pretty dangerous. Take more Wicked Wildlife account. This is telling around. So you'd be pretty hard pressed to find an Australian that doesn't recognise this little guy. Now, this little baby magpie is in care with a wildlife care friend of mine, and uh, he has to be one of the most iconic birds in the country. They're actually found all over Australia, uh, including southern New Guinea. There's nine subspecies of them. And they've even been introduced to New Zealand, the Solomon Islands, and Fiji. People from other parts of the world might actually recognise the name magpie. We call him an Australian magpie and he was named after the European magpie, which is actually a completely unrelated species. The European magpie is a corvid, which basically makes it one of the crow family. And uh, despite the fact that this guy might be lumped in with crows by a lot of Australians, uh, he's actually more related to the blackbird. So they're not related at all. The Australian magpie and the European magpie, they're both just black and white birds. But Europeans were very good at giving things very uncreative names. Now, unfortunately, the reason that this guy cops such a bad rap is that during the spring months like at the moment, magpies are really famous for swooping people. Now, of course, most people are aware that they're doing this to protect their babies. It's actually dad. It's all 99% of the time, it's the male magpie. And uh, basically, once his eggs hatch, he's, the swooping gets worse and worse until the babies are ready to move off on their own. Now, I can understand why people get annoyed by this, and it can, in some cases, be dangerous. There's been people actually injured by magpies. But, it doesn't take a great deal to get around them. We, all we have to do is avoid this air, or be careful when we walk through. Don't, you know, wander around on your iPhone when you're walking through a park where you know there's a magpie sweeping. Keep your wits about you. But, on the flip side, if your baby was this cute, and you had a whole family of them, I think most dads that I know would be just as protective. He doesn't know that you're not going to hurt him, so yeah, he's just being a good dad. If it was any other animal, we'd probably be giving him praise for being such a good father. But because he sort of puts us out of the way a little bit, we go, oh, I don't like magpies. So, you know, I think, I think they deserve a bit of slack that way. The other really cool thing about these guys is if you grew up out in the country or work in agricultural, you're probably familiar with the scarab beetle or the cockchafer. Those little curl grubs that people think are witchy grubs. Now, they're a huge agricultural pest. They cost a fair bit of money in lost pasture. And the biggest predator of these guys on farms is actually these guys. Uh, magpies and the ravens absolutely love cockchafers. So, you know, he, he might soup us when he goes through the park for a couple of months of the year. But these guys actually eat bugs that eat our, our food's food, the grass that we use to grow our sheep and cows. So, look, he's here for a reason. The other thing is, when you look at Australia since Europeans have arrived, so many animals have disappeared. We've caused more extinctions than any other country in the world. I think any animal that survives in suburban ecosystems like these guys here do absolutely deserves our respect. He's the ultimate suburban survivor. They're there in spite of all the things that we've changed and all the disruptions we've made in their ecosystem. And they're not even disappearing. They're thriving. I think, you know, we have to respect that. These guys are such an adaptable bird that they've so far survived human beings. So... I think they deserve a little bit more respect than they really get. So I'm going to pass this guy back onto his foster mum so he can have a feed and grow up big and strong, get released back out in the wild and eat all the nasty bugs we don't like. But uh, as always, guys, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below. Share it about with your friends or leave us a comment. And uh, keep checking back. There's snake videos. We've got lizards, crocodiles, possums, all sorts of cool wildlife stuff in store. So there's always more. Keep coming on back, guys. And as always, guys, be nice to wildlife. Be a little bit patient with them. And... Uh, have a good one and take care.